friends. Just checking my hair one more time. Welcome to my day, my travel day. I am very excited to get out of town right now. My sister just texted me. So excited to have you come. And I am excited to go. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. I just finished getting ready. Um, I have learned when I first get to Utah and when I fly on planes to Utah, I, oh, my camera flipped, hang on. Okay, I don't wear um, makeup on my skin. It's too dry. I've been getting like spam calls all morning. Hang on, I'm getting ready to go. And I have finished getting ready with my make makeup bag. This definitely has to get um, shrunk down for my next trip. If I wasn't kind of jumping around from place to place this weekend, I would be doing something different, but I don't have like space in a set bathroom or even a set bedroom most of the days that I'm there. So I need to be able to like take this into a bathroom, get ready, take it back out to a bedroom, finish getting ready. <laughs> so I, you know, I'm just gonna do it this way and just suck up the extra room it's gonna take up in my suitcase. But as Jason was seeing my bags all done up last night, he was like, oh, this is really stressful for Japan and Hawaii. And I was like, now you're getting stressed about it. This has been on my mind for weeks now. And he's like, we have to like rethink how we're gonna pack and da 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 And I was like, whoops, sorry, jiggled the table. And I was like, welcome to my world, honey. And he's like, when you get home, we need to lay everything out. We need to put all the suitcases out and everyone needs to bring their Hawaii clothes to start with. And then we need to test run <laughs> the other kids' clothes. And I just let him go. I just let him go. And I think it was, Ashley and Abby maybe were sitting there or something and uh, they just kind of looked at him and they're like welcome dad welcome to her world <laughs> like, this is what she thinks about all the time but I am going to do that it is something that I'm going to do but um, we're just making sure this is not this is too hot so that can't go in quite yet gotta let that dry but I am all ready to go to close that bag as soon as that heat is cooled off. Um, I'm gonna wear my black shoes right here. I'm just gonna put them on so I can get everything downstairs. I have an hour and a half till I'm supposed to go. Jason's own hour and 15 minutes till I'm supposed to get picked up by Jason's dad. But I guarantee you, he's always, especially with travel, he gets it. I'm trying to get my shoe on, <laughs> feeling unbalanced. He will be here 15 minutes early, which is great. Like I appreciate the um, promptness and the willingness to, uh, you know, make sure I get places on, on time. I'm just gonna wear sweatshirts the whole time. I'm not gonna bother taking my coat. When I got that bag filled up, it's too full. Also, this thing is freaking heavy. Like, I am kind of worried I'm actually kind of worried they're not going to let me put this underneath my seat. But if they say that at the gate, then I will put, I'll take out one of those pouches, which is the advantage of having those compression bags because I'll have both of the bags with me. I'm also feeling like it's not a comfortable bag to travel with so packed because I can't get in like I've had to rethink where I'm putting stuff like I need to be able to get my license out really fast right here but like this is the only room this is the only room right here like my hand is touching my computer right here um, so I can't put anything else right here unless it's thin and my camera wouldn't fit right here So now I kind of have to shove my camera right here, which you know when I have my crossbody bag, that's where I put it. So I just am having to like, it'll be fine, it'll work out. I just, I'm hoping that they're not gonna make me shrink this bag any more than it already is. You know what I mean? But I'm also glad I'm not having to wear it like a backpack. I think I should be fine to put this one on. I don't know. It's not that big. 
I should be able to put that underneath my seat. So I have to wait for that iron to cool off really quick and it'll cool off faster here in my room because it's cold in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for that to cool off and then I can zip all that up, take all of it downstairs, wait for him to come. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get a breakfast drink. I don't think I have any more protein milk. So I'm gonna go do that. Maybe I'll make a breakfast drink with Jason's protein milk. That's what I'll do. Um, so, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a good time. My sister and I are just gonna go to dinner tonight and then go home to her house and relax. And then we start some fun tomorrow. I can't believe it's tomorrow. We're gonna do something fun. Okay, join me on my travel day to go home and do something really hard and something really fun. If you are new and didn't watch my other video, I am going home to go through my dad's house. He is selling it after my mom died two years ago. If you, I need to figure out when she passed away. Her anniversary is in two months, but I don't remember, I don't know why I keep thinking it could be three years. She didn't die in 2021. But it's kind of a hard, it's a hard thing to go and do, but I, so I'm trying to have fun at the same time. Okay, I have an interesting predicament. <laughs> it's standing, but this bag weighs more than this one by a long shot. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Will it go back and forth? Is the handle really heavy? Yes. I don't have long to go except at the Salt Lake Airport. <laughs> this is gonna be quite heavy to carry at the Salt Lake Airport, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Rethinking. Downstairs. It's really hard to manage this bag. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna do this on our other trip. Okay, I'm putting this in here and this has like gotten a lot I don't know how to do this for our other trip. Luckily, we only have, I mean, our first flight is like 10 hours long, so it's like once we're on the plane, it doesn't really matter. And we have five hours at our next layover, so it's not like, all right, well, okay. That makes, I mean, I don't, I only need to get into this pocket for this, but it makes this one a lot looser. In fact, my license is actually gonna like, this is my driver's license. It's too loosey-goosey now. Oh my gosh, what way is the zipper going? Okay, so now I think I'm going to put that in there so that I can get to that easy for my driver's license and my card. That's a lot looser. This is where my laptop was. I got thinking like, okay, just reach in your bag and quickly get your laptop out at security. And that was not easy to do. So, all right, well... In order to make this happen on the return flight now, I'm gonna zip that up here in a second. I reconsidered, I'm not reconsidering this. I, I'm not gonna go the whole weekend not having that. This doesn't matter, that can go in here as soon as I come home. And then if I don't have room for it coming home, I'm just gonna eat it or give it to my like sister. Um, I have my notebook in here and that in here, but I'm actually reconsidering this bag. I have, well, I think my father-in-law is going to be here in 45 minutes, even though I told him an hour. So I have an hour. I think I'm going to condense this. I think I'm going to do that. Like, I don't want to, but I think I need to, one, see if I can do that. And two, I think this is just bulky. This is just too much. I'm not going to be able to, like, I'm not going to be able to bring anything home. That's my reality. I don't think I'm going to be, even be able to bring my wedding dress home. So I got to bulk things down a little bit. Okay. I'm not even, like cinched up on that that's not even like too tight um yeah this guy is out I'm gonna put these guys in a baggie I'm not taking a good brush I'm just taking this brush but I'm gonna put it in a baggie so those just don't get lo loosey-goosey inside here um but that is easier to maneuver I could even put this into that bag if needed um yeah I'm just not and I'm gonna put this fan I always need fans on airplanes, but I did end up taking out two makeup palettes. One, this one here is like, um, there's one of the, I've hit pan on one of them, and so it like is flaking off, and every time I open it, it's just a problem. So I'm gonna take out these guys. I will take this one to Hawaii, but it's just not necessary for this trip. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming all the time when I get things right. 
Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they mind in my near and far Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are Send a prayer if I'm out of luck Send a little love and I'll make it back Send me a letter Baby, I'm stuck with a halfway heart Slip away if I come too far Pick me up when I'm in peace All right, I'm very bored now. My flight keeps getting delayed. <laughs> um, it's not a big deal, except that I just found out my sister just got to leave work early because <laughs> they didn't have teacher meetings. And they decided to let the teachers go home and just enjoy the day. And now I'm not there and I'm going to be an hour late. And <laughs> But hopefully she can go home and take a nap. Maybe have lunch or something. And then I'll get there and we'll go to dinner. So I'm just very bored because I'm trying not to use my phone. I have it charging back to 100. So we'll see when I get there. And there's always delays during flight as well, going into Salt Lake. So I don't even think I'm gonna get there before six. Which is, again, it's not a big deal. We don't have anything planned tonight. It's just, I'm bored. So I don't wanna get there. She only lives like literally 10 minutes from the airport. We should face this way. I think she just texted me. She like can leave her house 30 seconds away. Yeah, she can leave her house the second you tell her that you have landed. If you don't have bags, they got checked. They made me check my bag. Where is she? You can go find her. There she is. Hello, hello. Well, that was, I got lucky. My gate was like only a tenth of a mile from the doors. And my bag was like one of the first like 20 off. All right, these are the stars of the show. Dewey, come here. Come here. Are you already tired, my friend? Hi, Zoe. Say hi to the girls. My sisters are gonna be like, or my daughters are gonna be like, we don't get Dewey and Zoe time. Dewey. Come here, Dooby. Goodness sakes, you already want a nap? Do oh, Dooby, <laughs> come here. You're so <sighs> he doesn't understand cameras. Come hi. here, hi. <laughs> See, you are you yeah. are crazy. She just wants attention. You Jesus. are crazy. All right, we left the dogs back at home and we are gonna go get uh, dinner. Erin, do you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to Olive Garden try and eat some salad and then have, I don't know if I'm gonna have pasta. I don't know what I'm gonna have. Well, Maybe some decide. lasagna. I mean, I know that's pasta, but I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. But I do don't know I'm gonna get the this, this salad and breadsticks of and cheese course. sauce. You can't do we not. need the cheese sauce? Well, I feel like it's necessary. I think it's necessary. Well. I would say that we're safely tired. Tired? Tired. It's windy out there. We are sharing a bed tonight. <laughs> the king size bed. Split. Split. It has like the little up and down. Yeah. So it's like we're in two separate beds. <laughs> and she doesn't, this one doesn't move at night. No, I don't. So I have plenty of bed space without her cuddling me. Um, I'm surprised well, you cuddle and you walk. No. I'm surprised your roommate's not home yet. I am too. They went out. Oh, we're, we're tired. We just watched, what movie was that called? What was it? It was on Netflix. Know Your Enemies or something. It's based on a true story. And we ate uh, swig cookies. Well, one each. Yes. So, 
Anyway, I'm very tired. I've got the travel tired. So I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. We will get up to some trouble tomorrow, so stick around and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm.